Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Wassalatu wassalamu ala sayyidil mursalin Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Allahumma ufir lana warhamna wali walidina Wali musannifi hadhal kitab Dear audience Today We are going to deal with the conditions of wulu ablution for performing prayer as salah we have to do ablution properly as shartu it is a condition we can't perform any kind of prayers or we can't offer any prayer without completing this condition. So, before the discussion of Salah, the orator just placed the condition Surut at first, because the Shant is an important and inevitable part which will be there till the end of prayer as Salah. Wa Shurutuhu أي the conditions of wulu كشروط العسل خمسة just we have discussed the conditions which is to be applied when we are bathing the same conditions also comes to here when we take the ablution there are five conditions we have to apply when we are taking ablution first one is أحدها Ma'un mutlaq. First one is pure water. Why? Here the orator told Ma'un mutlaq, pure water. Because Fala yirfa'ul hadasa wa la yuzilun najasa wa la yuhassilu sa'iru tuhara wa law masnunatan illa al ma'ul mutlaq. There is an important thing we have to understand that without using the pure water to take ablution, the ablution will not become fulfilled. The main aim or the main part of taking ablution is to raise the obstacles which is obtained, which is happened in our body. For example, if we just went to the toilet and passed the urine, now you are in a condition which you can't perform the salah. So you have to take an ablution. For that ablution, you have to bring pure water. Ma'un mutlaq. What do you mean by ma'un mutlaq? Wahua. It means. ما يقر عليه اسم الماء بلا قيد. It means that we have to call when we see a water. Yeah, it's a water. It's a pure water. For example, there is a water in your glass. Here is another water. It's also in your glass. It's also a water. But there is a condition. You have just add a lemon in that water. It's a water, but we call it as lemon juice or lemon water. Here is another glass you have just filled with the, the, that glass with rose water. So you have just called that water without, can you call that water without any condition? No. You have to place a shant, a condition, a qaid there, that is rose water. So the qaid, the condition which comes first, when we use or call to use our water, it will not be good or it will not be satisfied to take ablution. So ma'un mutlaq means it is a pure water which we can call without any condition. Ma'un mutlaq. Wa in rasaha min bukhari al-ma'i tahur al-mu'alli. There is another case. You have just collected. You have just collected the water 
from the vapor of purified boiling water or was to hulika fihi al or there is a water which is now the color and the situation or the circumstances of water is totally changed it is automatically changed the conditions of water how was to hulika fihi al that is mixed something in this water aw qayyada bi muwafaqati al waqi or we can use another water which we call as water from the sea water from the pond water from the well this all are the water it is to be situated there it is also called ma'un mutlaq bila qaid just we have use a qaid a shat a condition there it is water from well or water from sea or water from river anywhere but it all that condition is not opposing the state of pure water it's all are pure water where we are talking about ma'un mutlaq where we can call it as bila qaid if we add any shad, any qaid before that water just i have mentioned before rose water or lemon water it's a water which will be if we drink it we can quench our thirst we can feel happy but it is not proper to take ablution so the first condition of taking ablution is ma'un mutlaq insha allah the rest of the part we will discuss later thank you very much wa akhir da'wana alhamdulillahirabbil alamin assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah